Welcome to this week's Chinook News! Alright, good morning Chinooks! It is officially the last day of school in April, so we are so excited to spend some time with you today and let you know all the cool things that are happening around Clackamas River. Miss Anderson, guess what we get to do today? What's that? Stop. And what else? Dance. Dance. Are you ready to dance, everybody? Because we are. Get ready to listen to those awesome tunes and mm -hmm. start grooving to that music. So how do we know when it's time to dance? You will hear that ding over the microphone, just like last time. And then we will play, hopefully, one of your favorite songs. Now, the whole song probably won't play, so be a good listener. Know when the music turns off, it is time to freeze. eyes back on your teacher and they will give you directions for your next steps. Awesome, I love and I can't wait to hear and see everybody enjoying that time. Mm -hmm. So Miss Anderson, this month we are at the very, very end. We can't get closer to the end than we are right now. So we have been focusing on perseverance. Parents doing our best through hard work, dedication, patience, and persistence. All right, and we want to highlight some of our students this uh, for this last week that have been displaying perseverance. So let's check them out. Let's give them one big round of applause. Thank you, thank you. What are we gonna be doing next month, Ms. Anderson? Well, for the last six months, you have learned about these big skills that we've been asking you to build. And now we're kind of doing what you do in a lot of things where we cycle back and we look for people who are doing any of them. So if you are somebody who this year really worked on building empathy, this would be a time to recognize you. If you are somebody who really worked on staying consistent, this would be a good time to recognize you. We also still will be looking for perseverance, innovativeness, uh, collaboration, respect, respect and collaboration. So any of those things that you've been working on this year, we're looking for them. And talking about awesome students, I want to head right over here to my right and check Lane out because this week, our students had a great opportunity of going to the library and listening to our friend Lane, and he had an amazing story that is all about his own family. We got to share that with everybody. How did you enjoy that, Lane? Um, I really enjoyed it a lot because I actually got to read to like almost this entire school, and that was really exciting for me, and I would really love to share more of this book with you guys and say more about June. But for those who didn't get to come or didn't get to see it, um, this uh, book is called Just Like You and it's by my mom and it's about my family. That is Very awesome. Very cool. And what were you just telling us about your family? Where are they all going to go to school next year? Um, June is going to come here at Clackamas River. And I am going over to the middle school. And my 13-year-old sister is going to the high school. Wow. All right. So almost every school in the entire district will get a piece of this awesome family. So we appreciate you coming and sharing all that information with us. And Lane, just really quick, what do you think everybody learned about your story? I think everybody learned in this school, for those who didn't get to come, um, I think everybody that did come learned that um, people need to have respect and kindness for people that are different or are um, the same as all of us. But pe it's not as same as all of us basically it's all of us people that are different um as us are the same as us i like that lane and it makes me think it doesn't matter 
who we are, what we do, we always need to be putting kindness first. Yes. Mm -hmm. And I think about that too. One message that I took away from your reading was people want other people to say hello. Mm -hmm. They want to be recognized, right? In respectful ways. So when we're out in our community, if we see somebody, let's say hello. Make yeah. them feel wanted and connected. Mm -hmm. Another thing that we heard in your story is that um, in your family, everyone in your family is different but they're all so special in their own ways and that gives us a place to build love with each other. So make sure that even if there's a difference that you can recognize, that we celebrate those differences because they're what makes our school special, makes our family special, makes our community special. Yes, and everybody in this school is different, but we can be all the same and be kind to each other. Mm -hmm. I love that, Lane. That's mm -hmm. great. All right, Mr. Lane and Ms. Anderson, we also want to highlight another amazing thing that happened this past week is we got a new bench out front of our school. We just want to say thank you to uh, Mr. Porter in first grade and his uh, dad and younger brother coming out here and putting that together. Hey, and we have also been spending a lot of time talking about our music concert. That is coming up May 18th. We are so excited for you guys to be singing your little hearts out and get to show what you've learned on stage. So take a look at the flyer below so you know what time you are performing. And Miss Boat will be sending home more information as the date gets closer. Oh, wow. Miss Anderson, do you hear the music? Lane, do you hear the music coming from the music room? Yes, I do. We should probably check that out. I love hearing our singers and songwriters play their music and sing. They are so talented. Can't wait to see you there. All right, Miss Anderson and Mr. Lane, we also have a holiday coming up at the end of May. Okay, three-day weekend. So what day is that, Mr. Lane? Memorial Day. Memorial Day, May 30th. We should not be at school on May 30th, which is that Monday. All right. Okay, the other thing we want to go over is, last week we asked you some trivia about trivia about this thing. Mm -hmm. We found, it's called the Golden Pole in Mr. Wolf's new office, and we were wondering what do you think we should use this for, and what was it used for last time it was out? So, we got lots of answers. And by the way, way to write in complete sentences in best handwriting so we can read it. Okay, what do you got? Everybody draw one. We'll see what we found. All right. Pick one out of there. Hey, okay, here we go. Mine says, the golden fish pole was given to the class who had the most goldfish tickets for the week. That makes sense. I think we should use it for kindness. And my name is Kira, and I'm in Mrs. Rutherford's. Have a nice day. You have a nice day, too. Thank you. All right. Mine was the golden fish pole was give into the class who had the most gold fish tickets for the week. I think uh, we should use it for the class who gets the golden plunger most often. Thomas, um, this is Rutherford. Mm -hmm. Okay, I have Mr. Bill Whitman. The goldfish pole was given to the class who had the most goldfish tickets for the week. I think we should use it for the class that has followed school rules. All right. Was that also Miss Rutherford's class? 
I believe so. So we have mm -hmm. Bill. We have Kira. We have Thomas. And I think Ms. Rutherford might have been a great inside resource for this mm -hmm. as she has been a chef for a pretty long time. So, so thank you for your help with that, Mrs. Rutherford. And we will make sure that these three get a prize for the week. So sounds like this was for Katya being good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We have a new question, Miss Anderson. What's our new question? New question. So our kindergartners are in the process of watching eggs hatch. We have some mm -hmm. chickens. Mm -hmm. We have a duck. Quack. And a new one this year, we are going to have a baby turkey. Turkey? I don't even know what that'll look like, but we're gonna have one. So get excited for that. And during that process, they've been learning all about chickens. Um, and our new question for you, and kindergarten, I hope we get some slips from you, is... Chickens evolved from... What dinosaur? Do we know? I don't know. All right, it's that time for birthdays. <laughs> Let's head on down to that music room and check out those birthdays. our golden plunger and this week Lane can you tell us which bathroom was the cleanest? It was kindergarten and first grade! Woo! Yay! Nice job kindergarten and first grade. I know we were working really hard on making sure paper towels go where they're supposed to go. We didn't have too many kids in the bathroom at one time. So way to step up to the challenge and really work towards that award. And then the golden tray went to third grade. Third grade. Thank you for meeting the expectations in the cafeteria. All right. Now, let's see if for the third week in a row, we'll be popping popcorn. All right, Lane. Let's see what you got. Okay. Right. Up high, no peeking. Uh, blue. Oh, blue. All right. So That's okay. Better luck next time. We'll let that popcorn machine rest for a week. Okay. Something really exciting coming to Clackamas River next week. And actually every school in the nation is Teacher and Staff Appreciation Week. So hopefully this is an opportunity for you to check in with your teachers and with our staff members and let them know how much you appreciate them. Um, and all the work that they do that goes far beyond the hours that they're paid to be here. So we appreciate them. We know they work so, so hard. Um, we know even when they're not here, a lot of them are thinking about what they'll do when they do get here. So time to just appreciate those efforts. Um, our secretaries, our bus drivers, paras, teachers, custodians, all these people who make the building work. So we appreciate you, um, our students, it's your time to get to show how much you appreciate them. Lane, is there somebody who you could tell us, who do you appreciate at this school? I appreciate Mrs. Huffman, our librarian. Mm -hmm. She's pretty awesome and that opportunity to read that yes. came straight from her. So we appreciate that you recognize and that you have that platform to share your story. All right, well, let's stand for that pledge, hand over heart. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. 
All right. We hope you all have a fantastic weekend and we will look forward to seeing you back here in May.